Bradley Belisario, 21 CR 48116, arraignment. Good morning, Your Honor. I think Colleen is on video. She tested me. I am. Hi, Ms. Baraha. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so Mr. Goodman, I had continued his arraignment on this matter because he had said that he had retained you on his other matters and he was planning on retaining you in this matter. And he wasn't in custody on this matter anyway, so he certainly agreed for me to continue the arraignment to see if he was going to retain you on this matter. And he has, Your Honor. So it's just an arraignment. Would you like to enter a plea? Yes, Your Honor. We'd like to enter a plea of not guilty. There's a couple issues. So he's out of custody on this case. As the court may or may not know, there's a district court case that's pending, which the putative victim in this case, Brianna Lamana, who's part of the Clark County District Attorney's Office, she was prosecuting that case. They went before that judge to try and revoke Mr. Belisario on his house arrest in the district court case, in part because of this case. The district court judge reinstated Mr. Belisario, the house arrest, with the added condition of spring. This, of course, as the court knows, is a misdemeanor. I'd like to say a couple things before I address his bail status. Well, he doesn't have bail. I mean, he's out of custody. I don't know what there is to argue. Okay. Other than to enter a plea and set his trial. That's fine, Your Honor. I mean, because I'm not going to remand him, because as you so just described, if he has violated some condition of the district court order, then they need to take it up with the district court. It sounds like maybe they did. But in this case, I don't really know why he's out of custody. I mean, not that I'm second-guessing it, but it was probably because it was a misdemeanor. So through the administrative order, he was released. I really don't know, but I know he's not in custody on this case. I think it was because we – sorry. I think it was because we had to have more time to file the complaint, Your Honor. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Well, let me ask this. Ms. Barraha, are you going to argue for some sort of release conditions in this case? No. He's no bail still in front of Judge Bennett Heron and Judge Graham, so I don't see any reason to argue bail. He may want to get credit on this case, but if he doesn't want to be remanded, I'm certainly not going to ask him to be. That's what I was going to ask Mr. Goodman. Since he's not in custody on this case, but he's in custody on other matters, do you want him remanded on this case with a nominal bail? Well, I mean, that's a good issue, Your Honor. But I'm in the process of filing another motion in front of two other justice courts who actually just deferred their ruling of no bail to see what the district court was going to do on the state's motion to revoke. Okay. So you just want to keep him out of custody on this case? Well, yes, Your Honor. And at this point, given the interaction of those different elements, I would ask the court to set it within 15 days. And having said that, Your Honor, I would also like to say, and I'll be bringing a motion to recuse the DA's office because I believe there's a clear conflict of interest. You can't have the district attorney's office prosecuting, charging and prosecuting a case where the prosecutor is the alleged victim. The statute itself that he's being charged with on this case is to maim, wound, kill, or murder in a threat. And on its face, it's clear that it's not any of those. It's ambiguous at best. It was done in a context. Okay. Well, today's not the day to argue the facts or the non-facts or whatever they are. We're not discussing custody. So let's not get into facts. So why are you – this is – I guess this is a procedural confusion. Why are you asking to set it in 15 days? First of all, he has a right to a trial within 60 days, not 15. If there was some glaring reason to set it within 15, I don't have a problem with that. But at the same token, you're saying you're going to file a motion to recuse. They're going to need to respond. You're going to need to reply. Obviously, a trial's not going to happen in 15 days if that's the case. I didn't know if he was going to be in custody on this case. No, he's not in custody. Your Honor, so that's fine. We'd ask for a 60-day setting, and I may come back depending on what the other two justice courts end up doing on that case. And then I would ask that he be – for a reasonable bail to be set at that point. So he's in custody on this case. Okay. So for now, you want him to remain out of custody. You want to enter a not guilty plea. You want to set a 60-day trial date. And you might file a motion to recuse in the meantime. You know what, Your Honor? That's – well, I mean – No, I'm just trying to – I'm trying to pin it down. If you could trail the matter for five minutes, and let me talk to my client. Okay. All right. I'll trail it, Ms. Baraha. 
Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Belisario, 21 CR 48116. Thank you, Your Honor. Sure. I would ask the court, whatever the court deems appropriate, I know the state did continue the matter, so I don't think that they really have a position. And I do want to make sure that Mr. Belisario gets credit on this case. So I'd ask for a $100 bail or, I don't know if the court can just say, OR pending. I'm not sure, whatever. I mean, the court has more experience. If you want him to earn credit, then we need to remand him on this case. We need to set a nominal bail of $100. That's fine by me. That's fine, Your Honor. But I'm still, I mean, do we still want to set, he's, despite his custody status, he's still only entitled to a trial within 60 days. I mean, I know our practice is to give it 15, but if you're going to file this motion, why are we going through that? No, 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 that's fine, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So, sir, do you understand and agree with the remand into custody on this case with $100 bail? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to remand him on this case, $100 bail, cash or surety. We're setting his trial within 60 days. January 11th at 9 a.m. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. And I might see you before then on a motion. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right.